All right. Wave the camera. Tell everybody hello. Hello. Hey, I'm Matt Hill. We're at the uh, Permian Basin uh, Midland, Texas uh, Operator Forum. Uh, AADE is uh, hosting me and my friends. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Nick Diaz. Uh, I work for uh, Buckeye Incorporated. Do drone fluids out here in the Permian Basin. Um, I'm from El Paso, Texas. I'm 35 years old. And I started out in solids control 2010 or 12. So, so you've been in the uh, industry for a little while. Yeah, I started out doing that for a year and a half, and I got into mud, and now I'm one of the district managers for uh, Buckeye. Do you love every second of I it? I love it, man. It's, it's a rough ride to get here, but uh, I yeah. love where I'm at now. So, so where did you grow up again? I grew up in El Paso, Texas. El Paso. So were you around oil and gas when you were younger? Uh, no. A lot of my friends out of high school came out here, and uh, I joined the military and did college, finished oh, that thank off. thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. And, uh, you know, a lot of them came out here, and I ended up... I ended up out here. They know. called you and said, hey, this oil and gas sale yeah, is man, for Man, come real. do this for six months. You'll make some money. And, yeah. You know, and you love it. Yeah. Man, that's <laughs> great. So what got you into MUD? Uh, my engineering manager now uh, was referred to me by my first MUD engineer I worked with. And, uh, he, uh, he came out to the rig and picked me up and kind of worked, worked me to death pretty much. And Yeah, of know, course. I mean, none of us was, get to work well worth it less of, hours. Yeah, it was a lot, there's a lot of benefit to it and you know, it kind of made me who I am today and I'm very fortunate to represent some big accounts out here and it's, it's, it's been great. So. I mean, mud is uh, essential, vital. You know, we, uh, we all, uh, I mean, they don't mess around, right? That's the one thing that you just have to live and die by on that, you know, on that uh, borehole. Oh yeah, yes, sir. You know, and, and if you uh, skimp on the uh, costs and the product, you're you're gonna have a disaster. Oh yeah, yeah. We've seen we've seen lots of examples of that. Like I said, so we're uh, we have about thirty percent of the market share out here, so we've seen a lot of what? a lot of mistakes out here. Yeah, but you know, Buckeye. Mm -hmm. Wow, good for yeah, you, so buddy. Yeah, we've done we've done really good. And like I said, our customers are you know Conical Phillips, uh, Continental Resources, Pioneer Natural Resources. We have and our, SMA, hey man, I'm a so. you know huge fan of all those operators. Continental, you know, I'm I'm from Oklahoma City, so uh, and well, all my family at one point lived in Northwest Oklahoma, so oh, wow. I think everyone in my family worked for Harold Ham at one yeah. point. Yeah, they've so been, they've uh, been great to work with that group of guys. But yeah, no, like I said, uh, in regards to drone fluid, um, they've all the operators we've had the fortunate of working with. Uh, what, really what, get to what's it. the secret? What's the secret sauce for you guys? For us, uh, I mean, it just depends. It's, uh, it's all situation. Is it the product? Is it the service? Is it just the, uh, so we've been here for sixty-five years? So we have a lot of sixty-five years. Here. Well, 60, 65 plus years. That's sixty-four. So. That's astounding. Yeah, so we're a private company, uh, but you know we've we've, uh, we've been very blessed and very fortunate to to be where we are today. So, what's your uh, what's your favorite thing uh, about you know this industry? Do you think? Uh, I think all the, the relationships you build, that's probably the best thing. Because obviously, you know, people move on and get bigger and better jobs. And, you know, you get to learn, you know, from them. They learn from you. And, you know, they kind of take that so that as they progress in their careers, too, they always remember you. So it's nice to see everything that you've shown them and they show you, you know, kind of exponentially grows. And, you know, you kind of see. You're, you're proud of your family yeah, and their exactly. success. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, I am, too. I get, I get so excited to see all of them. You know, I mean, 500 people here. Yeah, that's and pretty cool. I, I know almost everybody in the room yeah, like it's, I, it's, it's just like oh my gosh this is the best family reunion yeah it's definitely pretty cool so we uh we as an industry are striving to put energy education at the forefront of our i mean beings at this yeah. point right we we're desperately seeking to bring in you know outside you know forces and doing energy education and uh hopefully in, improving our own you know uh I don't know, footprint on how we can influence people to get involved, get in oil and gas. Also, that's not going away. Also, that our products are, you know, safe, uh, good for the environment because of, uh, you know, our processes. We were ESG before ESG came around. Exactly. Yeah. So what's the mud industry, you know, doing? What, what have you seen in your own, you know, in your own part of it to uh, really progress and, and move with the times? In regards to, I guess, just being more I guess Yeah, more product, ESG. technology. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, to be completely honest with you, I mean, a lot of the drilling fluid additives yet aren't really. I mean, they're in no our, one, yeah, no they're going to yeah, break down to no nitrogen one, oxygen at the end of Yeah, that. no one really wants to pump anything that's bad down. Anyway, so no. a lot of these drilling fluid programs, in actuality, you know, they have the most. There's taking a lot. There's a lot of effort taken in there to make sure that you're not pumping you know, anything that's intentionally corrosive. But you know, obviously, circumstances change some things. Well, because part, everything you put down hole is going to affect the the casing, the drill pipe, exactly. the borehole, the the uh, yeah. the oil and gas product coming up. 
exactly. You know, everything outside of whole base mode, you know, typically is. Obviously, so when you're running it through all the machines, it push it down hole. Yeah. So, like I said, it's, it's the drone float stuff is actually really interesting. Like I said, there's a lot of thought that goes into these things where you wouldn't think that people are, you know, maybe have an ESG in the back of their mind. But, I mean, you're writing all these programs for a specific reason. You're not trying to hurt the environment or anything like that, you know, intentionally. You're trying to do everything you can to not have that, minimize that kind of impact. Uh, I mean, I always ask all these questions. Obviously, we're in an echo chamber probably for the most part people watch this. But just on the off chance that somebody's not in oil and gas and they do get, you know, a piece of this, you know, I want to make sure that their introduction to oil and, uh, oil and gas and mud companies is Buckeye. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. Who has 30% of the market share down here and uh, has uh, great products and great people. Um, you got any products right now that you uh, have that are new that, you know, people ought to be interested in? Uh, not really. Not I mean, really it's, the same. It's, it's all the same stuff, yeah. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> yeah. What, what's the news? So I'm very curious. You know, a friend of mine talked about, like, uh, Bay Ride, mm -hmm. you know, and it's uh, – you know, ability to be mined in the U.S. And now we're running out of mines here and it might have to be mined overseas or we find a new resources or ability to uh, use different products. So I guess the question is, how are we going to, how, how are we, we going to address that? So there's a lot of uh, uh, international sources for it. Yes, yeah. it has to be, it has to be a certain grade, you know, API specific. Um, so there are sources out there and I mean, it really just comes down to uh, the drone flu company and their, and their ability to uh, purchase these goods, right? So, I mean, yeah. Are there alternatives that we can use uh, or, or are there um, things in the environment we can harvest, you know, other resources to change that, you know, specific, right. you know, I'm honestly right now, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot, a lot you can do right now. I mean, the alternatives are heavy brines, which are very corrosive. Yeah. Uh, you know, things that need hematite. And no one uses that really anymore. So, I mean, there's not really a lot of availability for outside, pro you know, other products to take into place. But, again, uh, the Bayright situation, I mean, again, there's good sources out there in the world. But so, you think we'll probably see a lot of uh, price increases in mud over the next, uh, I don't know, year, if five years, ten years? If going the way it's going, uh, you know, we've seen a little bit of a... a or because we outsource it to other countries and we don't have the same, you know, yeah. say standards of harvesting those, will the price go down? See, that's the thing, you know, it's, it's kind of see what international markets can do and kind of see what happens. Will there. they get it to our shores cheaper than we can produce ourselves? Maybe, maybe, possibly, yes. So it's kind of one of those things. See, again, but you want to have high quality product. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to purchase something that's not. Up to, up to standard, so. Is there, so it's a private company I can invest in? <laughs> are you going public? No, there's, a, nah, there's a lot of quality control stuff that goes into all those products. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's really up to the drill and fluid company to take that diligence to, to make sure you're buying a good, you know, good product that's not going to, not come, not come from, you know, skip, you know, what's the word? You, you don't skimp on uh, yeah. quality yeah, exactly. ever. Yeah. yeah, you didn't, yeah, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't stick around for 30 years and, uh, 30 per, or 60 years and 30 percent of the market share without a really just an amazing reputation we hold, we're very very proud of that so like I, said, we, I am oh my gosh that's i was astounding i got to uh, have somebody on from you guys and uh look forward to uh seeing what you're up to next how do uh how do people get a hold of your company um it's really easy i mean buckeyeink.com buckeyeink.com y'all all the way there and get a hold of me or you're on linkedin of course Yes, sir. And what's your email address? Uh, my name is uh, Nick at BuckeyeInc.com. There we go. Get a hold of Nick. Is there anything you want to promote? Are you involved in any uh, oil and gas? You know anything? No, no, Full help man. AAD. You're the guy. So, yeah. so, well, get on the board. Hey, we we always need more uh, board volunteers and board members. So thank you for what you do. Sir, appreciate it. Thank you. God bless you, man. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Later.